नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स फॉलो आवर साधना और प्रैक्टिस फॉर टूडे सो सिटिंग कम्फर्टेबली सिटिंग स्ट्रेट ब्रिंग योर हैंड्स ऑन योर नीज इन ज्ञान मुद्रा स्टेक कपल ऑफ कॉन्शियस ब्रेथ इनहेल एन एक्जेल डीप come to savitri pranayam if you ready you can follow 6363 or 8484 rhythm or higher all kind few rounds of 8484 rhythm and then we going to follow that with our brahmri pranayam breathe out slowly in 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. in bhamri the humming nata conscious breath gently bring your hands to your heart in namaskar mudra sit down with your hands to palm to be at your own time you are gentle for so Touch all over your face, then your head, your neck, and your shoulders. And let's gently or easily open our eyes when you are ready. And we're going to gently or slowly stretch our legs to the front and do a little bit of quick warm up or jati. Stretch your legs to the front and then just relax. Ease your arms, your knees, your legs. Give a good sinking to your legs. and maybe let's rotate our feet in one direction clockwise and then anti clockwise and again bounce bounce your knees give a good shaking to your legs 
and then catch hold on to your right leg and gently flex your foot into your ankle joint maybe rotate your foot maybe rotate into your knee joint and just catch hold on to your right leg with the right hand extend and then swing open your leg And then release or relax. Let's switch our side, left leg, just gently flex your foot into your ankle joint. Then rotate your foot in one direction and other direction. Maybe rotate into your knee joint. Change direction. Lovely. And then catch hold onto your left foot with your left hand, extend your leg and swing open. Give a bit of good nice bouncing to your knees and then flex your feet into your ankle joints. Maybe rotate them a few rounds clockwise and then a few rounds anti clockwise. And then just gently bounce forward, lengthening or easing through your spine, chin up, and then gently keep moving. Nice and long extension of your spine, your backbone, and as far as you wish to. Breathe out and head down. Gently breathe in, lift up or reach your arms up and over. And breathe out and fold forward. Two more, breathe in. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. Hold here for a couple of moments. Just following a few conscious breaths. And then breathe in, lift up your arms, reach up, interlock your fingers, turn your palms inside out. Lift up, stretch up. And then release, take your hands behind, your fingers pointing back towards you. And gently press up, lift your back, your buttocks, buttocks up, walk your feet away, head back, Pratipalasana. And take a few conscious breaths here. And release, and relax. Just gently give a bit of shake to your hands, shake to your knees, your legs. And then move up into all fours, into four fittings so of the spa there. And nicely balanced on your hands and your knees, head down. Vyagra Pranayam, breathe out. Breathe in, lift your spine down, arch your back, head up. Breathe out, reversing your arch, throwing your belly in, chin into your chest. Two more, breathe in, lift down, open up. And breathe out. In. Out. One more, in. And up. And release, relax. Into four feet. Eh? So now we're going to add our Sarva Kriya and the Raj Kapota together. So starting with the right leg. Breathe in, raise your right leg up and over and head up past your back. Now as you breathe out, bring your knee all the way on the floor between your hands. 
Then breathe in, push your chest, your spine back, and breathe out, move forward and rest on top of your right knee. Breathe in, come back to all fours, into four feet. And breathe out, come back to four feet. Into Chatuspada. Let's do with the left leg. Breathe in, raise your left leg, extend your spine, arch your back. And breathe out, bring your knee forward. Breathe in, push your chest, your spine back, arch back. And breathe out, rest your head on your left knee. Breathe in, come back to your spine and stretch, arch up. And breathe out, come back to four feet. Let's try second round, right leg again, breathe in, raise your right leg and arch up and breathe out, bring your knee all the way forward on the floor. Within breath, stretch back and breathe out, rest on your right knee. Breathe in, push back up. And breathe out, back to four feet. Taking a little moment, a little pause. Left leg, breathe in, raise up, extend. And breathe out, bringing your knee forward. Breathe in, stretch back. And breathe out and release on your left knee. Breathe in, stress back up. And breathe out, back to four feet. Just as part Let's do one more round with the right leg. Breathe in, raise your right leg and your head up, arch your back. And breathe out, knee forward. Breathe in, push back. And breathe out, head on your right knee. Breathe in, gently press up, stretch up. And breathe out. Now let's follow it with the left side, the left leg, breathe out. In, left leg up, arch your back, stretch up. Out, your knee forward. Breathe in, stretch back. And breathe out, head resting to your left knee. And then breathe in, come back up. And return to your forfeited. Take a little moment, a little pause here. Nice and straight up. Just to feel that nice easing of your spine, a little bit of weight on your shoulder blades, a little weight on your knees and taking a couple of breaths. Now gently move your right knee across towards the left knee and roll onto your right arm, take your left leg straight and raise your left arm over to the sky. Hold here for a few breaths. Maybe let's stretch our left arm over our head. So making a straight line and then lift your left leg up. So taking a little bit more weight on our right side, our arm and our knee and follow a few conscious breaths here. And then release, relax, gently come back to the center. Now let's take our left knee towards the right leg. Move your weight on your left hand and your left knee and take your right arm to the sky. Hold your step one for a couple of breaths. Now stretch your arm over your, your body and then lift your right leg up too to take a bit further balance. Following some conscious breathing. And gently release, return back. And then 
hands front to rest, back in Sasanka, arms extended forward. Gently bring your head up, walk back up to sit straight and softly or easily bring your legs forward when you're ready. So your legs to the front. Now take a nice balance and catch hold on to both your legs or your ankle joints with your both hands. Now let's see if we can take a little bit of balance on our sitting bones and then breathe out. Breathe in, extend your right leg forward, out and release, breathe in, left leg forward, out, release, breathe in both your legs, out, release, again breathe in, right leg up, and release, left leg in, and release both legs and release again right leg release left in release both legs and release and relax, place your feet down. Give a good hug to both your legs, straight spine, breathe in. Sigh your breath and fall down, bringing your top of forehead in the middle of your knee. Two more, breathe in, rise up. Easing your spine and sound, sigh sound. Again, breathe in. Ah. Breathe in, sit back up. Now, take your right hand all the way over and behind your body. Keep holding onto your legs with the left hand. And then turn and twist over your right shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Follow some conscious breathing. And release and let's switch our sides so hold on to your legs with the right arm take your left hand behind turn and twist over lovely and release now take your hands behind to give yourself a good support and open your feet just to your hip width and see if you can gently press your knees towards uh, one side and turn your head to the other side. Follow a few conscious breaths, especially in your legs, your spine, your hips. And then release. Oof. And you switch your side, so your knees to other side and head to, so if your knees to right, then head to left. And release. Let's take our knees to left again, but this time we have to take our hands to follow that side. And just press all the way across as far as you can go and follow that twist. Follow some conscious breathing, whichever part of your body you feel that massage, feel that twist. And release, coming back up. And then you go all the way over to other side across and follow your hands to that side and follow in that twist. And release, come back up. 
back to the center and then come back to your previous side again. This time maybe we can just try to drop our elbows down and come forward to bring your hands under, under your face for your head to rest. Lovely, come back up, really nice and easy and then roll over and switch your side. So your knees to the other side and then follow the same, drop your elbows, your arms on the floor and let your head rest on both your hands. And gently come back up. And then bring both your soles, your feet together into Baddha Konasana, the bonded feet. Press your knees down, maybe do a little bit of our butterfly or Tithli Kriya if you would like for a couple of moments. And then we go to gently press our knees down and hold that tension, hold that posture, but the Konasana with, with your fingers clasped with your feet inside. Now let's cross our hands. So reach your right hand to touch onto the same bone of your left leg and the left hand to the right leg with our right hand dominating. Creating a crisscross connection between your feet and your hands to your legs. And feel this reconnecting or rewiring of your right, left, top, bottom parts of the brain. And moving from the fight flight into relaxation, into the peaceful response. Now let's take our hands, so right hand onto your left shoulder and left hand to the right shoulder. Elbows in front and across, feeling that sense of warrior, the warrior can hold up and hold that pose. A beautiful gesture, the mudra of the veera, the warrior. Now reach your hands further up, so holding your soft lobe of the ear, so the left ear with the right hand and the left with the right. The Chama Mudra, the gesture of forgiveness, you can turn your head gently down as if you're bowing to, to let go or to seek for forgiveness. And release and then connecting the energy, left hand forward, right hand elbow on top and then cross your arms to come into Garuda Mudra. Bring your hands together to your forehead. And release, and then you switch your mudra, your hands, left elbow, left arm on top. Again, your hands joining to your forehead in Garuda Mudra. Follow some conscious breathing. And gently release. Now come, use your palms of your hands to cover your eyes and your forehead. And let's do three rounds of the Brahm breathe, the humming again, deep in breath. Mm. Round, cover your ears and then breathe in. For third round, place your left hand on your heart and the right hand on top of your head. 
breathe in mm. back to hold on to your feet reconnecting where we started just sit quiet for a couple of breaths in but the corner if you can I just like you to gently practice your mula bandha giving a gentle squeeze or contraction to your anal and your pelvic floor muscles And release, relax. Just ease your legs to the front nice and easy. Stress them forward and give a nice relaxation. Let's do our Pavana Mukta Kriya. So breathe in, draw your right knee to your chest, give it a good squeeze and push and let go. And then left leg breathing. Both legs together. Again, right leg in, left leg, both legs together, one more, right leg, then left leg, and both legs. And then just lie down comfortably in your space on your back. We're going to do three more rounds of our Brahmari Pranayam and the Savitri Pranayam together. So inhale, hold, and then Brahmari to exhale, and then hold out. So let's breathe out gently in. Hold. Let go, release, relax, or hold still. So I'd just like you to pay attention for soft focus to the sensations, the vibrations, all the way through your spine, your backbone, upward towards your head, your crown. We just feel that energy, the sensation or the vibration.
keeping your mind softly focused in the middle of your, your head or your brain to the channel where we heard the Brahmi sound coming, mm, moving through. If you feel you need to find that Pindu, you can do the humming once more. Follow that, that channel, that flow of the sound and then I'd like you to keep your mind focused in that vibration into the sound flow through the central channel for a good five minutes or so if not longer. So you can do once more and create or, or know the sound and the channel and then focus your mind in the channel of the susumna. Mm -hmm. I will leave you in this beautiful space. Enjoy.